everyone, my name is Daniela. Welcome to another episode of For the Love of Cinnamon. Today we're going to prepare Ceylon Cinnamon Fried Rice. It's probably one of my favorite recipes. Um, it's a very light rice, but it's also very delicious and it has a lot of exotic ingredients and I promise you will like it. So let's see what ingredients we need in order to cook our delicious rice. Uh, we have two cups of rice right here and we've added three cups of water. Rice should be cooked according to the instructions on your rice cooker, so follow that. You also need half a teaspoon of turmeric and a Ceylon cinnamon stick. When I combine all these ingredients together, the turmeric will give the rice a nice yellow color and the cinnamon is going to be, is going to be absorbed in the rice, making it delicious and flavorful. For the next step, you will need another stick of Ceylon cinnamon. Uh, you need two pieces of clove. You need um, two ounces of green peas, two ounces of raisins, uh, 3.5 ounces of uh, cashew nuts, nine ounces of shrimp, one large onion, chopped, and one tablespoon of frozen lemongrass. As I mentioned previously, if you'd like to use fresh lemongrass, you're more than welcome to, but I usually like to use the frozen one. So we've done our first step, we put the rice in the rice cooker to cook. Now our next step is to put the shrimp, to fry the shrimp, because you want it to be brown and crispy. So we have um, high heat, pan right here, as you can see the oil is already... And this is the chemical reaction that comes out between a heated pan of oil and shrimp. So you'll, you'll basically fry, saute the shrimp until it, it's brown and crunchy. It should probably take about, I don't know, let's say five minutes. So our next step in preparing our rice is to saute the onions, um, the peas, the raisins, the cashews, the lemongrass, and the cinnamon stick together. So we heated our oil. We're gonna dump the onions. And the peas. Raisins. Get the lemongrass, the cinnamon stick, which is the most important ingredient, and the cloves. We're gonna saute them together. As you can see, the um, the shrimp is nice and crispy, and it's done. So we'll remove it from the heat and dump it in our sautéed onions. Rice has cooked in the meantime as well, so we will throw the rice in here also. Just be careful, it might be hot. You don't want to burn yourself. As you can see, the rice has a beautiful yellow color because of the turmeric. Oh, I promise you're gonna love this recipe. It's my favorite recipe. Okay, now we're going to mix all the ingredients together for a couple of minutes. It smells delicious and I can guarantee that myself and Acela look forward to trying this. Our rice is done. I will go ahead and transfer it to a serving dish. As you can see, it has beautiful yellow color. It smells delicious. And we have the cashew nuts and the shrimp and the raisins. And obviously the Ceylon cinnamon stick. The rice would not be the same without our cinnamon sticks. Ceylon cinnamon sticks. It's a very light recipe. It's easy to make fast and it's definitely recommended for a busy weekday here it is oh it looks delicious and here it is our cinnamon fried rice enjoy my name is daniela thank you so much for joining me for another episode of for the love of cinnamon i look forward to seeing you next time with another exciting recipe